Hey you guys, what's up? So, um, I'm doing a review on the second book in the Tales of Temptation series. It's called One Unforgettable Kiss. Now, the first book, <clears throat> excuse me, was One Mistletoe Wish. And I did a review on that, so I'm going to put that in the link bar below if you guys want to check that out as well, too. This time, it features um, another one of the male septuplets, Garrick. Now, Garrett is part of the um, military. He was a pilot, and he um, took the AWOL, and he ended up coming back to Temptation. Now, here enters Hopper Presley. Hopper is a tomboy. Nothing wrong with that. You know, she wasn't into the girlish stuff, like tight skirts, um, like shirts that show off your cleavage, you know, makeup, lipstick, all that jazz. Um, she was just comfortable in jeans and sweats. Of course, um, a lot of people in the town, well, not a lot of people, a lot of people just was normal. Of course, in school, people thought she was gay and things like that. Um, and she had a difficult time dealing with that in college as well, too. So, you know, she had to have an auction and, you know, Garrett wins, hop on a date. You know, of course, tension builds between them sexually, emotionally, and as they get to know each other, because Hopper is also a um, contractor, constructionist, as well, like um, a construction worker as well, too. She knows she's just comfortable with doing that. And meanwhile, you'll see Morgan, um, some of the um, characters in the other book, um, cameo characters like Morgan, her sister Wendy, um... Of course, his brother Gray, and you see his other brother and sister scattered through as well too. Um, Morgan is about to is going is pregnant, and you know she's ready to have her pop any day now. So I was excited for that. Um, the sexually the sex scenes were fabulous. Um, they were hot. Um, AC Elder did a fabulous job on them. Um, I can't wait till the third book comes out, which comes out in July. So I'll do a link on that one below too if you want to pre-order that one. And I just have to say, like, it definitely teaches you a lot. It taught me some a little bit about the military and, like, rules of engagement, sexual, like, rules of, like, people having intimacy, sexual relations and things like that. And how people are just, ooh, people just can be conniving as well, too. Um, I'll just say the captain of the, um, of his, um, of his uh, particular unit, um, basically tried to um, not blackmail, but try to keep it under keep his keep their deal under wraps because basically, Garrick before he left ended up had slept with his daughter, and he kind of kept it away from Harper, and Harper was like, "What?" and it was just a lot of drama with that as well going on too. And, like I said, it did teach me a lot. It told about love, forgiveness, you know, the usual, like, communicate more honesty, too. And it definitely teaches more about family because, like I said, the sex templates were split away because a lot of that went on. If you want to know about what happened in between their parents, you could check out the first book, which was, like I said, a one Mr. So Wish. You could check out the first book. I'll put the link in the link bar below, so if you want to order that, you can order that as well. And I'm going to put the video review as well, too. This book was actually good. I really did enjoy it. And I, like I said, I can't wait to read um, the third book in this series. And AC Author, I have read her in the past, but I didn't get it. I finally got back to her um, in another book series. I have to do a review on as well, too. So I read that one. I'm waiting for her fourth book and every book series to come out. But like I said, this was a good book. I was waiting for this to come out. And I cannot wait to see who's the next. Except something to fall in love. Anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful evening. I hope you guys enjoy reading and just, you know, just enjoy. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys soon and thank you for watching. Bye now.